Oh, hello, Martha. How nice to see you. <sighs> Can you imagine? I have to take Jane to the genetics clinic. And with the little English I speak, I won't understand them. What do you recommend? Don't worry, Ramona. There's a federal law that gives you the right to have an interpreter during your visit at the genetics clinic or any other clinic without paying anything. Oh, I didn't know. I've learned a lot with everything I've had to do for Jason since he was little. Yes, I remember. At every visit, I always insist on and request an interpreter, even though I speak a little English. It's very important to understand what the doctor tells me in order to make the best decisions for Jason. There are interpreters who interpret on the phone or a monitor, and they know as much as those who interpret in person. <gasps> Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, I'm Alicia. I couldn't help overhearing you talk about medical interpreters. What a coincidence, because I'm an interpreter, and I work in clinics including the genetics clinic. Your friend's giving you very good advice in asking for an interpreter for her visit. Thanks. And if they don't give you an interpreter, then you have to insist on having one. We go through a very intense training so that we can give you the correct and complete information. So it's good to use the services of an interpreter instead of asking a family member or friend for help, even if they speak good English. It's also not recommended to use electronic devices. Yes, I agree, because the same thing happened to me. Huh, that's good. But how can I make sure that the interpreter is giving me the correct information during the visit? An interpreter only transmits the information. We interpret without omitting, adding, or changing anything. We do not interrupt. We do not comment. We do not judge or advise. We're impartial professionals. And we also keep everything that happens during the visit confidential. Remember this order during the interpretation. When the doctor speaks, the interpreter translates the message for you. And when you speak, the interpreter translates your message for the doctor. You should also speak directly with the doctor and not with the interpreter. Don't say anything to the interpreter that you do not want the doctor to know. And never leave the visit having doubts. Ask the doctor any questions you have. Oh, that's good. Thanks so much for your help. I already feel much better knowing that I'll be able to understand everything. That way, I can make the best decisions for my daughter.